Matt Shackman's Fantastic Four is a project that many Marvel fans have circled on their calendar. Marvel's first family will be on the big screen February 14th, 2025. With a long time until 2025, fans online have been curious on who the cast might be. We've had so many names like Diego Luna, Ryan Gosling, Dev Patel, and many others being tossed around for the role of Mr. Fantastic. John Krasinski is another name not completely out of the picture just yet. His variant appeared in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. While other castings do need to take place, Reed Richards has drawn in the most interesting interest, obviously being the head of the family and being the leader of the team. Director Matt Shockman has decided to come out and answer some of those questions. He spoke with Collider and touched base on how far the casting and production has gone into Fantastic Four. He quotes the following, All this casting stuff you see is just rumors. We are early in our process here. We have nothing to announce right now and certainly when we do, We'll let you know. Matt Shackman has confirmed that many names out there have been on the rumor mill and are just chatter right now. Saying he has nothing to announce yet isn't terribly shocking. Marvel Studios is bringing in Kang, the Multiverse War, Thunderbolts, all during Phase 5. Fantastic Four is more of a Phase 6 project, so I get why you would just leave out a lot more details early on in Phase 5. The film will take place around the same time we're expected to see the Avengers return. Matt Shackman was previously a director on the One Division Disney Plus series. Personally, I enjoyed the series and it garnered such much deserved praise. And Marvel Studios also shine Shackman for the Fantastic Four. It's early in the process, so there's no castings expected to be announced just yet. I would lean on to more info coming out on the project around summertime, while shooting for the project can be expected to be around at least a year or more before a release date. That won't leave MCU fans in the dark for too long. It'll take some time to fill out these important roles for the cast, but I can totally see Kevin Feige spend Comic-Con this year focused on Marvel's first family. Shackman also has a busy schedule, including a big Godzilla TV series. He's said to direct two episodes of Godzilla and the Titans, no release date for that show has been announced just yet either, but he reassured fans watching that after the Godzilla project, his focus will be on Marvel's first family all the way up until Valentine's Day 2025. He spoke with Collider again and quoted the following, I'm still finishing up on the Godzilla project you were mentioning. We're in the post on all that, and I have a few more months on that. Fantastic Four is pretty much my life until, fans, until Valentine's Day of 2025. There's another quote from Shackman that comes in a separate interview with The Wrap. He spoke specifically on the connections between Star Trek and the Fantastic Four projects. He was asked specifically specifically on how the two are kind of connected, but spoke mainly on the themes and settings of both projects rather than the characters themselves. He quotes the following, It's really a family there, and to be able to go back and tackle something that I truly love, and they're very similar in some ways. They were both launched in the 60s at the same time. They're both about optimism and looking to the stars and how technology can solve everything. And they're about family too. The family you have, the family you make. So they're aligned in many ways and speak to my heart and equally. So I'm excited to be working on Fantastic Four. Before we finish off this video, I would like for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit that like button if you can. Drop a sub, leave a comment, and hit that bell so you don't miss any videos coming up. I wouldn't take this interview as confirmation that we'll be seeing the Fantastic Four set in the 60s or anything. Rather, I take this approach almost as a return to old form for Marvel Studios. Another cool connection between both projects was the concept of technology and families. I think there is no Marvel comics that reflects those two variables better than the Fantastic Four. Some family bickering might exist there, but everyone within the group tries to do their best as a member of the team. I think Marvel can do wonders simplifying the introduction for the Fantastic Four, avoiding a whole origin story. Just pick up where the team formed and start building themes from there. I love the optimism from Matt Shackman, and I hope the project comes together well. Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer are hard at work at writing the script under the watchful eye of one Kevin Feige. I honestly can't wait to see the official cast announcement and some more hints from the script. Give me your thoughts below on your excitement level for the Fantastic Four. And do you believe Matt Shackman is the right director for this ambitious project? Share all those thoughts down below. I appreciate you dropping by and watching this video. If you haven't dropped a like, go ahead and drop it now. Leave your comments below and also click on some videos here on the right side of your screen just to check out a little bit more of my videos here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a good one.